back on that 2013 Audi Quattro A6 3.0 supercharger, water pump, and thermostat replacement. Here is the thermostat. Okay, you do these anytime you do anything with that water pump, or vice versa. Now to do that, you got to remove the supercharger to get to the thermostat. In my last video I showed how to remove the water pump. Now the supercharger is not a big deal. It explains it in my last video as well how to get it out of there. Just make sure you don't break any of the plastic clips. Okay, replace your rings on your uh, coolant crossover pipe. You have two. Uh, one on each side and you have one connecting to the thermostat itself okay. Not a big deal. Uh, when this is the only way to be able to get that thermostat out of there Okay, as you see it slides into the thermostat okay. Just a little ring slides in like this Right there boom and yeah, don't try to press on or pry on it. You'll break your pipe I didn't have to remove much but the two t30s here on the side Which are a pain in the butt to get to I'm sure you can't see them if you can, yeah, there's two there, one on top, one on bottom. I just had patience. This one over here, I removed the solenoid that was hanging down here. It's connected actually to the coolant crossover. So just pop it off of the screwdriver. I left everything still attached to it, plugs and vacuums. And then one on top right here, you can barely see it. That's one right there above the vacuum. Move my finger in there, just move that vacuum that's right there, and there's one directly underneath it at the six o'clock. Uh, keep the water pump pulley off because you can't back off the coolant pipe with the water pump pulley on. I made that mistake with the pulley on, and it's no big deal, I just took it back off. But for anybody who doesn't want to go back and do it again, just go ahead and leave it off when doing that thermostat. All right, let me know if you need anything. Then first.